Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers for Taurus. And for those of you who are landing here for the first time, happy to have you join us. Please be sure to say hi in the comments. I'm gonna pull from a brand new deck. Um, it is Colette Baron Reed's latest deck just released, Guides of the Hidden Realms. Um, it's my first time using it, though I did activate the deck um, earlier today. She had um, a live sort of unveiling, right? Like a launch party for the deck. So I got it and I'm gonna share it with you. So I'm pulling for one card for those of you watching, regardless of sign, um, the guides of the Hidden Realms, coolest deck ever because these are um, facsimiles of paintings that she did of guides as they appeared to her. And Hay House said, why don't we make a deck out of it? But of course, so very cool. Here we go, Taurus. The Alchemy of Poison, first of all, card 22. So I love the master number there for you. It says, transformational lessons, reclaiming personal choice and radical forgiveness. And that is the guide that stepped through to her. This is one of, I think, two that have multicolors. Most of them are monochromatic, but the alchemy of poison. So um, indulge me. I'm going to read a little bit so that I can learn the deck as I share it with you. It says, the word alchemy describes how a common substance can be magically transmuted into something valuable. The poison dart frog, for instance, which is right there, is not inherently toxic. Instead, its body takes what it eats and turns it into a poison that is lethal to others, but a powerful protection for itself. However, if the frog is fed a different diet, one not from its native environment, then it's not toxic at all. There's no doubt that our childhood traumas shape who we are as adults. Our initial hurts and betrayals are an emotional poison from which we evolve. Ooh, right? Our past pain alchemizes into different personality traits that we express, some wonderful and healthy, others toxic and self-sabotaging. Right now, you're being asked to focus on how you've changed after all you've endured. You've moved beyond the difficulties, found your strengths, and courageously expressed them in the world. Reminding yourself of how far you've come is the new emotional food you need to keep nourishing yourself with. If you take a moment to observe your journey, you'll discover that the alchemical magic you've been looking for has been inside you all along. Step forward knowing you have the strength and hard-won wisdom to meet any challenge and succeed. Right? This is like the vulnerability from which we build inner strength, reclaiming our personal choice, um, coming from a place of radical forgiveness, right? You know, the whole point of that is, um, <laughs> A, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, sure, but also the act of not forgiving is like swallowing poison and expecting the other person to die. That's what I'm picking up from your um, guide from the Hidden Realm. So beautiful message, and I hope you feel special that you were the first sign to receive from this deck. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, pull the spread. It's a split soulmate spread. It can certainly come through reverse. Just take it as it resonates for you. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll explore my general impressions, get details from the clarifiers, right? So here is the overall energy. Looking back with some sense of loss, maybe grief, maybe regrets of the past or mistakes of the past. Whoops. Laura, hold on. Okay, I'll get there. Oh, wow. Yes, there's forgiveness. Blocker challenge is through communication for you. So um, the way I'm doing this is I'm seeing this as your person, but again, it can come through reversed. And right now they're stepping into this reading so somehow stuck 
may be overthinking the situation. It could be a lot simpler for them than they're making it. And I'm saying that because where they're blocked or challenged is with the action that's needed, right? Stepping into the role of divine masculine energy. The emperor takes control of a situation. Can't take control if you're kind of in a prison of your own making, right? So I'm seeing that clearly. And the opportunity for this person going forward is to sort of be open, come from compassion of self. This could also be your energy stepping into the reading. So, right, seeking your warmth and compassion and sensitivity um, and not really getting clogged up with self-doubt or self-limiting beliefs. You're coming in with um, an energy around reunion if you're in separation, reconciliation if you've had a difficult experience it's second chances redemption answering the call right but here's your blocker challenge there's no communication right now or there are challenges around initiating communication and so the opportunity for you is to you know sort of leave behind what no longer serves you continue on your journey it's not a walking away for you necessarily it's about continuing on your path in other words don't hold up everything waiting for this person. They will get there when the time is right. And sometimes we all have to come to terms with what's gone on in the past before we can turn it around and envision the path forward. So I see this more as you envisioning the path forward. I hope that helps. Okay, so let's see the clarifiers. Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, there's the reconciliation. And it's gonna take a little time, but I feel like you're open to that, um, right? Eh, right, let bygones be bygones. That's the message here. It is that time, time to let bygones be bygones, be open to a new beginning, to the reconciliation, to sort of, you know, finding where you have more common ground, what can you manage to um, compromise on, negotiate if need be, it's a meeting in the middle kind of an energy. And yeah, the Seven of Pentacles is telling you that's an intention you set and then it evolves and grows organically. So you need a little patience here. Um, very common to see Seven of Pentacles associated with the sign of Taurus. So just so you know that I see Taurus in general as the, 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 the gardener of the Zodiac, and that's what this card represents. So it feels to me like you're cultivating something over time. Um, yeah, I feel like you're there. I feel you're there in the let bygones be bygones. Let's find um, the path forward together. Your person, however, is... Not quite there yet. Eight of Swords. Magician. Five of Swords. Page of Pentacles. So they're already feeling um, a lack of mastery. This person goes straight to feelings of, you know, an energy of defeat. Um, the Page of Pentacles. So much to learn. Baby steps here. And the Magician. Well, there's my little boy coming out of his... <laughs> I didn't even know he was in there. I've been wondering where he is for like two hours. Anyway, with the magician um, between the eight of swords and that five of swords, there's almost a, re a reverse nature, right? No sense of mastery to manifest their desired outcome, feeling stuck and already in, in a state of defeat. So the page of pentacles underneath suggests that what's rolling around on the inside here in their psyche is, yeah, I, I got some stuff to learn here before I can step this up and take action. So that makes it the blocker challenge. Emperor, please. So cute, he's cleaning himself. Oh my. Um, so your person here with their blocker challenge, they feel they've already um, sort of missed an opportunity here that nine of pentacles is your energy things not feeling very balanced perhaps the the justice card though is also a card of accountability so if this person is feeling a sense of defeat or sadness or like i've missed this opportunity with this person maybe what they have to do first right is look into the past take accountability like what we all bring to the party um there are two 
two people involved, so, you know, possibly more for some of you. So we have to come to it from, like, what am I accountable for? And I feel like that's what this person is just beginning to explore. Well, hello, Mr. Leo. Say hello to the nice people. Yeah, have a seat. I know. It's okay. You can sit nice. So now, it, what their opportunity is with the Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, there it is. Um, okay, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, there's our Five of Cups. So this person is, uh, and the Eight of Swords again, which is where they are right now. It is an opportunity for them to look back at what it is they want from the energies of love and passion, from being um, drawn to your energy, from being attracted to knowing that you're very caring, but something went horribly wrong here. Maybe not horribly, but it certainly um, leaves this person with some regrets. And what their opportunity is, is to kind of get out of their own way and lead from their own heart, from their own passion, from their own sense of what they desire. So I am seeing the queens uh, not just as maybe what they want in the, in the connection with you, but what they need to access within themselves as well. Very interesting. You're coming in with some measure of openness to forgiveness and second chances, judgment, reunion, reconciliation, king of pentacles, yes, queen of swords, and there's our eight of wands. So you know some communication needs to take place. What I love here is with the queen of swords, you've got no hidden agenda. It's like, let's just put the cards face up on the table, no pun intended, and just, just deal with, you know, reality here. Um, you are open to this person here in 3D, someone that um, perhaps in the past has failed to show up for you right? To make themselves available or to make themselves accountable. Um, someone you could count on that is predictable. Get it? Like I'm not feeling anything drastic here other than some measure of regrets, something from the past here. You are open to receiving, reconciling, um, but there is a definite need for some clear concise, direct communication. Okay, eight of wands in your blocker challenge. Leo. Up, up. Nope, can't go back there. I'll have to put you back down on the floor. No. <laughs> he's, he's, um, two. So, Right now, he, it, this is taking every ounce of all his energy to not climb up <laughs> on top of the computer. Um, and I like to give him time to sort of explore it, but one wrong paw and we're not here together anymore. So, um, yeah, your blocker challenges. There's a definite need for communication about hurt feelings, some heartache or heartbreak. I'm almost feeling like this person um, it didn't come through with like maybe there was a promise that wasn't kept um maybe something that you know you felt you were able to count on because king of pentacles taurus energy hierophant taurus energy that you were able to count on but then it didn't materialize um and so the block here is you've got to sort of come from a place of forgiveness now you're showing up in the energy of that, but on some level, there's something, some residual hurt feelings or heart heaviness here at the very least. Um, maybe there was a commitment made that was then broken. Um, yeah, and it's gonna take you a while to completely open up to it. Plus this person has to um, take account of some measure of accountability and that's still not fully on their radar That's more of an internal inkling that they have. Let's see your eight of cups going forward Page of swords two of cups two of wands So the opportunity for you going forward is to kind of you know first get the information you need um, to help you make the, the best decision. 
right, about the path that you're walking. Are we walking it together or am I walking it on my own? So twos in tarot are always about choices and decisions. And it seems to me with that page of swords, a little bit of curiosity, like I need more information before I make that decision. So it really does depend on what this person, you know, how they approach you, if they approach you, if there's communication, what is the result of the communication um, before you make your final decision. So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Taurus, or whoever you are watching. And what I'm going to do is go to the extended. We're going to look at the emperor. I'm going to give you the astrology first, but then in the extended, we're going to focus on their energy and what what's happening with them so that you have a better idea of um, where they're coming from, what they're dealing with or navigating at this time, etc. Um, yeah, so if this reading has spoken to you, please join us here more regularly. Subscribe below. I literally want you to know that I come here every day just wanting to serve, to give you these readings, but and I, I give a lot more on this channel than I do through private readings, let's say, or the extendeds even. And I'm here to give you help that, you know, is accessible to all. But if I don't get views, I can't grow and I can't be here because I kind of, this is my, this is what I do to support myself. So please, please, please subscribe, like, Share if you feel called to do so. Help me get the message out. Help me stay there in the algorithm of this platform. That is my ask of you today. So thank you so much in advance. Um, here's our astrology. We have the magician is um, Mercury, Virgo, and Gemini. Page of Pentacles is all the earth signs taurus virgo capricorn our emperor here is associated with the sign of aries we've got some virgo in the nine of pentacles the um justice card is libra queen of cups is cancerian energy the queen of wands is aries all the aries energy um we have here judgment is pluto twice that rules scorpio as i said the king of pentacles is taurus queen of swords more libra uh, hierophant taurus again and the page of swords is gemini libra aquarius so that's what i have for you beautiful oracle by the way the alchemy of poison remember to come from forgiveness and it looks like you're open to it but it's it's going to be based on the conversation right so let's go to the extended. There are links below that you can navigate to the extended. The one-time purchase is for this one only. The other one is sort of a monthly that gives you access to other collections as well. So that's what I have. I'll see you at the extended. Bye for now.